hello everyone happy sunday i am back again today and today i have my little princess layla here right say mommy wanted to do a little video with my little baby girl today so i wanted to come and take a little break from cooking <laughs> cooking dinner and change little Layla because I had gotten her this new outfit. These are the little pale pink little bloomers. They feel kind of velour like material, but I'm not sure. But it feels velour, but then it feels like it could be almost like a corduroy or something. But anyway, pale pink it goes with this cute little top here. And the top has like the top of it, the most of the top is a cream color or ivory. Long sleeve with the little gathered sleeves or wrists. Then it has the little pleated ruffle around the bottom with flowers on it. And it is like that aqua color, this little lightish blue or teal blue color at the bottom with flowers and it has like gray and like that coral color rust color mixed flowers with this pretty big bow that matches the ruffle and the bow is like right in the center of the top and it is by calamaro baby if i'm saying that correctly and this is another one of the outfits i had gotten from katie's baby clothes i believe it is on instagram from her sale and it snaps down the back so today it's raining here and it's cloudy and all of that so this outfit is like the perfect little outfit for this kind of weather these little bow socks she's going to wear they're like the off-white also ivory by pretty original and she's going to wear her pink crier and company little baby shoes and I wanted to try this outfit on her because it's a one month size, which she usually can fit. But it is, um, it looks little to me. So that made me kind of want to try it on her. And I figured it would be a nice little um, Sunday outfit. Like this baby has really chubby legs and thighs so you have to be able to get whatever you're putting on her on them chubby legs and thighs and look how uncomfortable she looks on this boppy like mommy you're hurting my neck on here that's why i usually don't put her on this to dress her because she ends up sliding off of it and it looks very uncomfortable right mama I prefer the little neck pillow ones over this for her. So this is Layla, as I was saying. And she is my Dwayne Dania sculpt by Claire Taylor. And Dania is the girls of the edition. And I've had her... In July will be two years. I can't believe it. I'm going to just move that boppy because I don't like how she's laying on it. So it's almost two years with me and this little girl. And she is by Claire Taylor Dolls. For those of you who may be new, she is a full body silicone. Beautiful silicone. Oh my gosh. I love her silicone. Um, no matter what baby I get, this baby is just still amazing to me. Um, the way she feels and everything, the most amazing silicone she has. And all of the babies, I love how they feel, but the funny thing is they're all different. All different feelings to all of these dolls as I've gotten so many of them that have come and gone through my nursery and those that I still have. Um, the four full body silicones that I have currently in my collection um, each feel different and I like different things about each of them so this little one 
I love her silicone. It is amazing. And it's the most different, I must say, out of all of those that I've had. It's very different. Very soft, but yet different from the other soft silicone dolls I have. And that's the amazing thing about Clear Taylor dolls. You know, you never know what you're going to get. And all of it is different and amazing in its own way. Like, you can't say, oh, I don't like this. Like, I can't say that. It's like every one of them is just different. And it's just things that you like about each. And then there's some you may prefer more over the next. But you just like, like, all of them are really nice. Put it that way. You're not going to be very disappointed. You're going to find something that you love about her dolls, Clear Taylor's dolls, and the silicone, and the sculpting. You know, you're going to find something that you just love about it. I can't complain too much about any of the dolls I've had. So this little one is still amazing to me. No matter how many I get coming and going and whoever's here, she's still amazing, right? And your mommy's little princess right now, my only girl. <laughs> my only baby girl at the moment, and I do like that. Um... And she, as I was saying, is the Dwayne, she's from the Dwayne Awake Babies. And the girls in that edition were called Dania and, or Denia. I say Denia. Claire Taylor says Dania. And, um, as I said the other evening, it's five Awake Babies in her edition. Two of them are girls. Her being Layla, he is one of the girls. Then there's another awake girl, Little Monroe, that Kelly girl has. So there's two girls, three boys awake, and then the prototype Dwayne, which the baby was, um, the real baby is Dwayne. These babies were created as portrait, from his portrait, portrait babies of a real baby. And I wanted to correct something I had stated in the previous video is that I said there was two prototypes because someone had told me that a while ago and it was kind of surprising to me when they said it but I was like okay so there are two prototypes but someone else corrected me another friend and said no there's only one and they actually asked Claire Taylor to verify it and it's only one prototype Dwayne so I'm glad she told me that nice to get the correct information because I don't want to like give out the incorrect information so I definitely wanted to correct that that there's just one awake Dwayne prototype boy that went to the family of the real baby Dwayne and this little girl here looks just like the prototype Dwayne with her eyes um, she's the only one in the edition with those eyes that she has. I love the baby's eyes on the prototype. Always did when I first seen it. And I'm so happy that Clea Taylor made her eyes pretty much like um, the prototype Dwayne. She looks just like him. And I do love that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to correct that. And then also I forgot to mention there was a bonus baby also, which is a girl. And... She is the peaky-eyed baby girl. She was created from the five with the five asleep Dwaynes. So there are five awake, five asleep, and then one bonus baby that is referred to as the peaky-eyed Dwayne. So she looks slightly different from Layla and Monroe, but similar. But she's made from. The peaky eye baby is made from the um, sleeping Dwayne's. So, that is her in her outfit. And although I thought it was small, it fits. Had a little struggle with getting the little bloomers up over her thighs, her knees and stuff. But they fit. And the top fits perfectly. And there she is. And she has this pacifier. Do you want your passy? She doesn't really need it. And I was trying to actually find a bow to go with this outfit, um, which I do not have any bow that I would say really goes with it. So I'm going to just leave that little pink bow she has on. It's the right color pink. 
but I actually wanted like a bow bow to put with this being that it had this pretty bow on the top but I don't have a bow like that I wish it would have came with a headband that goes with this that would have been perfect but it didn't so anyway guys that is all for today I just wanted to come and do a quick little changing video with my little girl here and there she is the lighting looks so funny over here I don't know she has lights shining right on her but yet it looks dark when I'm looking but we'll see how the upload comes up but that is all for now just a quick little change in video and I wanted to say hello to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well and try to stay healthy and well be safe everyone and enjoy the rest of your Sunday thanks for watching